Hi guys, thanks for dropping by. Uh, glad you can make it. We're going to continue on with the Only Fools and Horses series here. We're up to, what are we up to here? Uh, season 3, Episode 2, Healthy Competition. I don't know. Is there another Dell moving in next door? <laughs> well, that would be pretty bad for the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, this is, like I said, Season 2, the last episode. Well, it was pretty good. It was pretty funny, and Dell had set up quite a complicated and intricate sting just to get a new apartment. Well, get a bungalow to get out of the uh, out of the sky. <laughs> uh, everybody seemed to be in on it except for Rodney. You know, he had uh, he had trigger in on it, and the chairman of the council, not the council, but the the board of their their building I guess or you know their neighborhood um you know it was in on it too I'm pretty sure because if you didn't have a co-chairman or why did they open the meeting can't start the meeting without one so why did they have the meeting at all so it, it was pretty well laid out plan almost worked it almost worked but you know, they got a little excited at the end just a little too much <laughs> and of course you know Nothing works out for them. Well, not usually. So this episode, like I said, is called Healthy Competition. So that gives me, leads me to thinking that Dell is going to have some competition around. Or maybe not, you know, could, could mean something else. So, you know, we're going to watch it and see. So if you like the video, you know, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications and share the video with your friends. All right. So let's just get started now. All right, let's watch. Now they're beautiful, aren't they? They're beautiful. Gather around everybody, listen to me. Now listen, ladies, I want to tell you something. I happen to know that little Prince William has one of these because his dad gave me a bell last week and he said, do oh boy, the forgotten Spud's birthday. Now Spud happens to be the nickname for the little Prince William. So what did I do? I walloped straight round there with one of these and it was end of aggravation. Now listen. Uh -huh. Who'll give me six quid for this little yak? If these were fluffy little chickens, you'd be saying, good heavens, they are going cheap. Right? Now, what I'm... Right, uh... Sorry I can't stay. See ya. <laughs> They're all squeaking. <laughs> Shut up, will ya? I lost all those doggies. Ooh, look at her colors. Had a good day, Del. Oh, the best granddad. I've been chased by a gendarme and almost caught rabies, and it's all this dipstick's fault. <laughs> oh, we can half exaggerate. Why didn't you warn me that that copper was coming? Because I didn't see it. What do you want me to get you, radar or something? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Del. Boy. Yes, thank you, granddad. I mean, they are difficult to spot with their size 18 boots and their pointy dates. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you shut your... <laughs> What about last Friday then, when we were knocking out them Italian shirts? That what? That wasn't just one copper you failed to warn me about. It was an entire squad car. I've had a lot on my mind just recently. I've been struggling to find a way of making a very important announcement. What important announcement? For the past two weeks or so, I've been taking stock of my life, who I am, and where I'm going. 
And that's taken you a fortnight. I could have answered all them questions for you. Could have answered them all during a commercial break. Can you just shut up for one minute? I am 24 years old. I have two GCEs. And with all that, what have I become? I'm a lookout. You're not just a lookout. You're a bad lookout! <laughs> Perhaps that's because my art's not really in it. I'm not asking you to put your art in it, just your eyes will do. <laughs> I'm thinking of breaking up the partnership. What partnership? <laughs> oh, what do you want to do that for? We're doing well. <laughs> Business is booming, profits are up. What more do you want? I want to make my own decisions. And I've made one deal. I'm going it alone. Who with? Mickey Pierce. Mickey Pierce? Oh, leave it out. He'd rob his own grandmother, he would. Mickey's quite an astute businessman, and he's putting capital into this venture. He's putting money in, is he? He will as soon as his gyro check arrives. <laughs> what are you putting in? I've got my half of the partnership. <laughs> partnership. <laughs> All right, if that is the way that you want it, my son. Because you're going to have to understand one thing, Rodney. Right, from now on, you've got to pay your own way in the world. Fine. Fine. There you go, then. <laughs> <laughs> is this all I've got? Hmm? I had to buy some stock off Alfie Flowers yesterday, and I mean, a trader is only as good as his stock, right? Well, this will have to do, then, won't it? Ooh. But I'm going to prove to you that I have got business acumen. Ooh. I'll see you down the auction tomorrow. How will I recognise you? I'll wear that stripy tie with... <laughs> <laughs> so, I can start the bidding at £50 a lot. Go on, bid for them. How many factories do we know are going to catch fire? All right, Rodney. Listen, a word of advice. You've got to be very careful what you do with your hands in a place like this. But just now, you put in a 40 quid bid when you scratched your bum. <laughs> what are you after? Cut glass goblets. Hmm? No, no, we ain't. We're not after nothing in particular. Now listen, the one that you want to be aware of is lot 37. 120, thank See you, you later. Much. thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to lot 36. This is us, Rodney. No, hang on a minute. Let's have another look at lot 37. Yeah, but Dell told us to be careful with that one. Yeah, why do you think he did that? <laughs> Usual Lord Dell's after lot 37, ain't he? I know how his mind works, son. Lot 37. Assorted agricultural machinery. Hey, that could be anything. That could be tractors, combined harvesters. Yeah, we could take them out of the sticks and do them old carrot crunches up. Hey, should we go for lot 37 then? Yeah. <laughs> you bought this one? Yeah. <laughs> this stuff is a load of rubbish. I know, I did try to warn you, Rodders. Well, what have you bought then? I got those crystal goblets that you were after. <laughs> <laughs> what are these things? They are lawnmower engines. They're not ordinary lawnmower engines. <laughs> no? No. They're broken lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but we was wondering whether you could take maybe a few in the back of the van. I've only just cleared them out of the van. <laughs> you mean you were selling them in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> that is the rubbish that Alfie Flowers sold me. Well, I never thought I'd ever get shot of them. They actually made a tidy little profit on it and all. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we supposed to do with them? Well, why don't you do what I did? Find yourself a couple of right little plonkers with cash on the ear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would insist on bidding for them. The way you were talking, we were going to do a deal with Wheat a bit. I'll get off my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Granddad. Brought you some strawberries. Oh, they ain't very big, are they? You wouldn't like one of those up your nose for a walk, would you? <laughs> <laughs> You're splashing out a bit, ain't you? Yeah, well, I've had a right blinding week. He even sold those technicolored woolen tea cozies I bought. Who the hell wants woolen tea cozies these days? I got that Mrs. Murphy, right, to stitch up all the holes, and I flogged them to the West Indian lads a soppy hat. <laughs> <laughs> look, there's the housekeeping money, all oh, right. Yeah. And look at that, there's a tenner for yourself. Oh, cheers, Dill. That's it, don't squander it. How's young Rodney doing? 
Ah, oh, well, the opposition are floundering somewhat. They're going down like a one-legged man doing the okey cokey. He ain't got rid of them door mar engines yet. No. Yeah, <laughs> talking about that, somebody broke into their shed and nicked two of them engines. I feel sorry for young Rodney. It's, it's all right because Wednesday night they broke in again and put them back. <laughs> Listen, Del boy, don't say nothing about them lawnmower engines. I think he's getting a bit embarrassed oh, about I, it. I won't mention them. All right, Del. Sold those lawnmower engines yet? <laughs> no. Lawnmower, lawnmower. Oh, no. Uh, we're hanging on for the right price, you know. Oh, that is the way, Rodney. You angry, Rodney? Yeah, I reckon I could manage to make them chips. I'll go and put the pan on. Just yeah. a minute, just a minute. Has he paid his housekeeping money? Well, I've got a bit of a cash flow problem at the moment. I'll pay double next week. Ah, oh, well, that's all right then. Yeah. That's all right. You can have double egg and chips next week. I thought you had nearly £200 left out of your share. Mickey's holding the money. Well, he's, he's financial director. Well, why don't you pop round his house and get some money? Yeah, he's... Uh, out of town at the moment. I haven't seen him around for... <laughs> We're doing this really big deal, you see, and uh, Mickey's gone away to tie up all the loose ends. Oh, well, that explains it, then. Yeah. Explains what? No, I just I saw his mum this morning. She said she just got a postcard from him from Benidorm. Benidorm? <laughs> yeah, he's doing all right. Met this Swedish bird called Helga. <laughs> oh, would that be the contact that he went to meet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been in the business five minutes and already you've opened up a Spanish branch. <laughs> Cornered the world market on broken lawnmower engines. <laughs> What's your partner doing now? Is he buying second-hand pedlos? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that. No, we're, um, we're going into the self-catering-ology trade. Yeah, well, we're starting in a small way. Well, you got a Wendy house. <laughs> <laughs> it's confidential information. That's right. I understand, Rodney. Where are you going? Well, I thought I might go down and have a couple of light ales down the nag's head. Coming? No, no, I, I really ought to stay in and do the company accounts, I suppose. Oh, here they are. Oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really think I'm that hard, do you, Rodney? Of course I'm not. <laughs> oh, cheers, Dill. Granddad, do him them egg and chips, will you? <laughs> Oi, Tony. Hmm. None of the boys been in. Oh, young Towser's just come in for a takeaway. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. Wait, Towser. Hello, Dill. How's it going? All right, my son. Sit down. Have a shot with Papa Dom. Cheers. I want you to do me a favour. <laughs> you know those broken lawnmower engines that dozy twonk Rodney got himself lumbered with? I want you to buy them off him. I don't want nothing to do with him. Oh, listen, we don't have to spend any money. I'll give you the money. 200 quid. I want you to offer him that. 200? They're only worth about a score of scrap value. I know, but I want him to think he's made a good profit. Look, he's had a bad week. Well, why don't you just give him the money? Well, it does seem like charity, wouldn't it, eh? <laughs> and he'd be too proud to accept it. No, he'd snap it up like a shot. <laughs> but I want him to think that he's been successful. It's important, Towser. If that's what you want. You're a pal. Wait a minute. What am I going to do with all these engines? Well, I don't know. Dump them somewhere. Oh, no, no. I couldn't do that, Dell. Take them back to Alfie Flowers and tell him that he can have them for nothing. Yeah. Del? All right, Dell. Right. Here. Hang up, Bart. Mm. What's in it for me? 20. That'll do. Thank you. Anything for a mate? All right, Rodgers. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. There's a really silly bloke down the market today. I think he must have come from a funny farm. It was really silly. I said to him, I said, do you want to buy some broken lawnmower engines? And he said to me, I ain't that silly. <laughs> <laughs> For your information, this morning I successfully negotiated the sale of them engines to young Towser. On my life, he's bought the lot. Cool. Well, that's a stroke of luck then, isn't it? No, no, it's not luck, Del. I knew all the time if I held on long enough, I'd get my price. <laughs> yeah, well, I must say I admire your courage, Rudders. Hey, well, he who dares wins. Mm. <laughs> so, well, that Mickey Pierce, he's going to be pleased when he comes back off holiday, isn't he, eh? Now, don't you talk to me about that Mickey Pierce. I've liquidated our partnership. So, what are you going to do, then? Well, I, I was thinking, oh, you know. Go back as we was, eh? <laughs> <laughs>
You and me. You and me do, I. And now I've got experience in buying and selling myself. Yeah, that could be invaluable, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay then, come on, let's pull our resources. Right. Now then, how much did you get for them lawnmower engines? 165 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> It's not bad, Del. Okay, let's see the colour of your money. Well, I ain't got it. I've invested the money. You did what? I went down to Alfie Flowers Yard, got us another load of lawnmower engines. <laughs> you're joking. Tell me that you're joking. Who well, tells this bloke at the GLC? Well, he can't get enough of them engines. <laughs> Tell you, I was dead lucky down at Alfie's. He'd had another load delivered this morning. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're exactly the same as the others. <laughs> you bet your life they're the same. What a 42 carat plonker you really are. <laughs> now that we're partners again, do you think you could help me out? I ain't had a pint all week. Look, the soul's coming off me best Gucci. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll help you out, Rodders. Oh, Put that round your Gucci, it'll stop the soul coming off. <laughs> <laughs> so that was uh, that was season three, episode two, Healthy Competition. That was pretty funny, yeah. Rodney struck out on his own and didn't really do too well, but yeah. The the bad start he got was pretty much because Adele tricked him into buying the motors, the broken motors. Uh he did, you know, try to buy them back at the end, but <laughs> give Rodney a little confidence, kind of gave him a little overconfidence instead of thank being thankful he got out of that mess, he doubled down on it and bought some more. Dell ended up losing on that deal, I guess. You know, all the money he gave Rodney to begin his business with and Rodney's buddy took it and went on vacation. So that was a pretty good episode. Uh, I enjoyed it. I hope you did too, so... If you like the video, you know, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications and pass the video around. All right. So we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.